Hello, Form Free students. Today, I'm going to explain the important aspects of iMovie on the iPad so that you will get a better preparation for the exam. And well, as you can see, this is the startup menu of iMovie, and this is the project title. And this is the days where the project is created, and this is the total length of the project. And of course, we can see all the projects can, will be displayed in this part of the screen. And if you tap this plus sign or plus button, then you can start a new project or a new movie trailer. And this play button will play the video on the full screen. And tapping this button will allow you to share your video online, such as YouTube or save the video in the camera roll. And if you want to get more help on iMovie, you can just tap this question mark and the help will be displayed on the screen. Actually, on the iMovie or many similar apps, they have both the landscape mode or the portrait mode. And this is what we call the landscape mode. Actually, more menus, more buttons are displayed in the landscape mode. And the longer timeline will be displayed horizontally. And in the portrait mode, this is the portrait mode, fewer buttons, as you can see, fewer buttons, fewer photos or videos will be automatically displayed on the screen. So you can see fewer things on the portrait mode. And just like what you have done in your iMovie project, your one best thing video. If you want to export and share your movie, you tap this button, this arrow button. And then you can share your movie to the camera roll, to YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, or even iTunes. And for example, in your project, you have to share your video through the video sharing website YouTube. And uh, you can set the resolution or the size of your video. The highest resolution in iMovie up to this moment is 1080p high definition video. And of course, much more details will be included in your video if you set the resolution to 1080p. But at the same time, the video file size will increase if you set such a high resolution. So therefore normally, 720p high definition will be quite enough for your or for our project. And, you, and if you set a lower res resolution, such as 360p, then the video file size will drop. But at the same time, less details will be included in your video. And finally, you have to set the privacy of your video. You have three choices, actually. We have, you have private, unlisted, and public. And for public videos, that means every user of YouTube can search your video through the search box by entering a suitable keyword. That is, your video is totally going public. And for unlisted, that means people or user of YouTube cannot search your video through the search box, but if you give them the hyperlink or the link of your video, then they are able to watch your video if they are given the hyperlink of the video. And for private video, that means the, only, the video is only viewable or playable by yourself, and nobody, even if they have the link, then they, can, they still cannot play or watch your video. And now we come to the gestures in iMovie. That means the movement of our fingers in iMovie. And if we know these gestures well, then we can edit our iMovie more effectively. Okay, this is the first gesture. Zoom in or zoom out the timeline. And we call this movement pinch apart. If we move the fingers in this way, then we call this movement pinch apart, pinch the center of the timeline to zoom out 
or pinch apart to zoom in. And so this action, if we pinch apart the timeline, then we are actually zooming in the timeline. And zooming in lets you see more detail in each clip within the timeline and may make it easier to trim clips. Uh, trim actually means to remove some part of the clips. We call this trim, trimming. And of course, zooming out lets you see more clips in the timeline at once without scrolling. That means you don't need to use your fingers to scroll or to move the timeline to see all the video clips. Now, this is the second gesture. We call it trim and move a clip. Trim actually means removing a part of the clip. To trim a movie in iMovie, or to trim a clip in iMovie, we just tap the clip once until this yellow trim handle, this yellow trim handles appear around the clip. And then you can drag either the yellow trim handle to trim the clip. You can just place a finger here and then you drag this yellow handle. You can either increase or decrease the duration of the video clip. And to move a clip, simply tap and hold. We call this action, tap and hold. Tap and hold a clip until it pops off the timeline and then you can drag it to a new position. Just, you can then drag the clip to a new position. And uh, this is the third gesture we have to know. And this is really amazing. Splitting a video clip. Split it into two parts or more than two parts. And the uh, split actually means divide the clip into two portions. And you want to do this because you want to insert another clip or a photo between the two portions of the splitted clip. And usually, we need to add different titles between two post the two portions of the clip. To split the clip, first, we have to find the position of the playhead. And this red line, we call this the playhead, the red vertical line, where we want to split a video clip. And then we can just tap the video clip, tap this until a yellow outline box appears around the clip and then we can do this action, the gesture, we call this swipe down, swipe down. Move the finger from the top to the bottom over the playhead to split the clip. And then remember this phrase, uh, this phrase, swipe down over the playhead to split the clip. As if you were using your finger to slice to slide through it. And this is another gesture that you may have overlooked. Actually, we can rotate a video clip in iMovie. We just use two fingers. Use one finger and probably the other finger will be our thumb in a clockwise or anti-clockwise twisting motion. We call this twisting motion over the video image. And when the white arrow appears, the video clip has been rotated by 90 degrees. So actually, you may have to repeat this action as many times as necessary to achieve the orientation, that is the correct position of the video clip. And in iMovie, usually we need to insert some photos to the video. And uh, you may realize that in the photo browser, this is the photo browsers. The photos are usually too small to be seen clearly. And then actually we can preview a photo simply by touch and hold the photo in the photo browsers. We can simply touch, just touch and hold. And then a bigger image of the photo will be displayed in this viewer. And so usually we do this in the landscape mode or in the landscape orientation. And we just tap or touch and hold and a bigger photo will be displayed. And finally, there are some advanced editing techniques in iMovie, especially between two video clips. 
and you, we can use the precision editor to fine tune the edges between the clips, which is this yellow double arrow. And just tap this, and then a menu will be displayed showing the transition settings between the two clips. And we call this action pinch apart. Uh, this action pinch apart over a transition icon. This is the transition icon. And therefore, you can experiment yourself with these three different types of transition icon. And each of them have a different meaning. The first one, that means we have none, nothing. We have no transition effect. And for the second one, that means it is a transition effect produced by the film. That is the film related to the selected music. And the third one will be just a cross dissolve between two video clips. And so, this is the end. And uh, this is all you need to know about iMovie in your second term examination. Goodbye.